Good evening, everyone. Maybe a lot of you are saying, anong ginagawa ni Jonas? <laughs> Ngayong gabi ng lagim. Or what most people call na parang scary, scary part of the year. I'm telling you, what are you most afraid of? Friends, a lot of times during this um, season of the year, we're able to watch scary movies, scary films. Personally, ako takot ako sa ganun. But you know, there's something in our lives that we're greatly afraid, afraid of. That is really grabbing us with fear na hindi natin alam kung anong gagawin. Hindi natin alam kung anong sasabihin. Hindi natin alam kung we should continue on to sa bagay na yun. Let me share to you a story. Sabi doon, during the time ni Jesus, the disciples also experienced the same thing. It's found in Matthew 14, verse 25. Sabi doon, during the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went out to them walking on the lake. When the disciples saw him walking on the lake, they were terrified. It's a ghost, they said, and cried out in fear. There are times that even our salvation, the thing that can or might save us, is clothed in the things that we fear. Sometimes yung bagay na akala natin, nakakatakot, hindi ko kaya to, hindi ko magagawa to, is also the same thing that can produce and can give you your biggest blessing. What am I saying right now? Even at the disciples at that time, they were afraid of Jesus himself. But God gave them courage through this verse. Sabi doon to continue, Matthew 14. But Jesus immediately said to them, Take courage, it is I. Don't be afraid. A lot of time, the thing that greatly affects us that greatly gives us fear is the same thing that can save us or can give us a better life. Sometimes yung mga bagay na nakakatakot, it's mostly because yung mga bagay na yun is outside our sphere of control, outside our comfort zone. Kaya ayaw natin i-grab yun. But right now, I'm challenging you. Grab onto it. And you might be, it might be your biggest blessing. When we started Baning, we were very afraid. My friend and I said, Paano kung walang manood? Paano kung walang pumansin? Paano kung walang may pake? There's a lot of things that stopped us. Honestly, it stopped me. Pero, we decided to press on, to continue. And friend, the same thing that brought us the greatest fear became our greatest blessing. When I'm reading your comments, when I'm reading the things that you are saying, when I'm reading the things that you are reflecting, I'm being blessed. Friend, your greatest fear might be your greatest blessing if you just decide to grab it. And sabi doon ni God, Jesus, do not be afraid, it is I. When you are afraid to do something good, when you are afraid to grab something that can better put a betterment in your life, remember God's promise, do not be afraid, it is I. When Moses was afraid, Jesus said, don't be afraid, it is I that is with you. When Joshua was afraid, do not be afraid, take courage, I will be with you. Most of the things that brought the greatest change in people's lives started with the things that they are afraid. What are you afraid of? Let us pray. Our great God, Heavenly Father, great and sustainer of our lives, Lord. I am praying for the things that we are afraid of. May it be, Lord, that you would help us to have the wisdom to know 
and to discern which can give us the biggest blessing. Help us to know how to grab and how to use it for your glory and your glory alone. Lord, help us to believe at times that we are afraid that you are with us and that we should take courage. Please forgive us from all our sins in Christ we pray. Amen. Friend, take courage. God is with you.